This is a follow-up video from one of my previous videos, which is about why every relationship is transactional. I'm going to link it over here if you want to check it out. But branching off from that video, I want to talk about a concept that might seem counterintuitive, but is really important to understand if you want to succeed in your relationship. That is, inequality is the foundation of all relationships. Most people believe that relationships are based on equality, but that can't be further from the truth. Here's the thing. When two people enter into a relationship, they do so because they believe that they're getting more than what they're giving up. The value of the transaction is subjective and it depends on the individual's perception of what they're receiving and what they're giving up. For example, let's say I have this $1 bill and you also have $1 bill. And I ask you, hey, I want to trade my dollar bill for your dollar bill. And you might respond, but why? They're both $1. Then I say, yeah, I know they're both $1, but I want your dollar bill. So let's trade. Now you might be thinking, well, what's wrong with your dollar bill? Is it a misprint? Is it fake? Why do you want my dollar bill? You see, what you're doing here is rationalizing it by putting a difference in value to this transaction in order for it to make sense. And the reason why you're doing this is because if we're not gaining anything from this transaction, then it would be a waste of time for the both of us. We both spend time and energy making this transaction, but at the end of the transaction, we didn't receive any more value. We both still have $1. Do you see what I mean? In order for this transaction to make sense, it has to be unequal. Both parties must believe that they're getting more than what they're giving up. Another example, let's say you go to a bakery, you want to buy a cake. You see the cake, it's $10. So you give the baker $10 and they give you the cake. At that moment, you're essentially saying, this cake is worth more than $10, so I'm willing to give you just $10 for it. But at the same time, the baker also believes that this cake is worth less than $10. So if you're willing to give me $10, I'm gonna take it. What this means is that both parties believe that they're getting a better deal. So at the end of the transaction, you might say, that was a fair trade. But deep down, you know you're getting a better deal, which is why you did it in the first place. If it was a bad deal, then you wouldn't have done it. You see, this concept also applies to romantic relationships as well. If inequality is the basis of all transactions and relationships are transactional, that means inequality is the basis of all relationships. A relationship only occurs if both people believe that they're getting a better deal for being in that relationship. And this is possible because the value that they're perceiving is subjective to the individual. You're in a relationship with me because you believe that you're getting more benefits than what you're giving up, which is time, energy, commitment, whatnot. And I'm in a relationship with you because I also believe that I'm getting more than what I'm giving up. If I'm not getting any benefits from being with you, then I don't want to be in a relationship with you. Understanding this concept will help you succeed in your relationships because now you know that if you're not providing any values to the other person, don't be surprised if they don't want to be with you. However, remember this. Bringing success and achievement to a man who already has those things is like bringing cake to a bakery instead of money. The bakery already has enough cakes. They don't want any more cakes. They want more money. Do you know what I'm saying? If you like this video, I got another one I want you to watch. It's about the psychology behind the phrase, misery loves company. Specifically, I talk about how single women are more likely to recruit other women to be just like them. Check out this video here. Till next time. Stay curious.